following problem asks us to solve a system of equations by substitution. So to do this, we have to have uh, one of the equations solved for one of the two variables. Well, we don't have that. However, if you look at the second equation, it looks like it should be pretty easy to solve that one for y because it's already got a y with a coefficient of 1. So we're going to add 2x to both sides. And by doing that, we get y equals, and I usually write it as the 2x first just because of slope-intercept method. It's a habit. So we get y equals 2x minus 9. Now that it's solved for y, we can go back and substitute 2x minus 9 in for y uh, of the first equation. So we went in, and instead of writing 3y, we wrote 3 times 2x minus 9. Now we need to simplify to solve for x, so we're going to use the distributive property. So we multiply 3 times 2x to get 6x, and 3 times negative 9 to get 27, or negative 27. Now we have to add up the left side. We're still not done simplifying yet, so we needed to add up 2x and 6x to get 8x, minus 27 equals 13. Then we're going to solve for 8x by adding 27 to both sides, so that gives us 8x equals 40. We divide both sides by 8, thus x equals 5. So our x, the x part of our solution is 5. Now we go back into one of the original equations and we substitute in 5 for x. And so you're going to have 2 times 5 plus 3y equals 13 and then you solve for y. So 2 times 5 is 10 and you have 10 plus 3y equals 13. Subtract 10 from both sides and you get 3y equals 3. So once you divide both sides by 3 you find out that y equals 1. So your solution that you just discovered was x equals 5, y equals 1. As for all systems of equations, you can always check your answer. So let's go through and let's put in 5 for x and 1 for y into the two equations and make sure that we have the correct answer. You never want to, you never want to uh, miss one of these because you can always check to see if you have it correct. You should know how you did on the problem. So we put two in for five, or 5 in for x, so you got 2 times 5. And then you have 3 times 1, because we're putting 1 in for y into the first equation. Well, 2 times 5 is 10, and 3 times 1 is 3, so 10 plus 3 does equal 13. So you've got 13 equals 13, which is true, so you know it's a solution to that equation. Now we go to the other one, a negative 2 times 5 plus just 1 has to equal negative 9. Well, a negative 2 times 5 is a negative 10, a negative 10 plus 1 is equal to negative 9. Thus, negative 9 equals negative 9, which is a true statement. So we prove that 5, 1 is a solution to our inequalities, or our equations.